Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. And ladies and gentlemen, the update is officially dropped right now in game. Let's dive right in here and check out everything new that you guys need to know. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So obviously the patch notes are going to be significantly long here. We're not going to be covering every single thing word for word. Nevertheless, the very first thing they're going to be featuring, and that's going to be the new system, the Hall of Ancient Heroes. Now, if you meet the requirements here, there will be an exclamation point quest on the right hand side in this column that you will then click on and talk to the sugar gnome, which then will spark up the quest. I believe it's to give him cream and you make cream obviously in the, you know, dairy factory. Once you create the cream, you give it to him, you complete that quest, he will then bring you to this screen here to start working on building what they are calling the Hall of Ancient Heroes. The requirement is going to be to clear World Exploration Stage 615 and complete the quest to unlock the Hall of Ancient Heroes feature. And as what we spoke about before, the Hall of Ancient Heroes essentially is going to select five of your highest level cookies. The lowest level of those five are going to be what they call the Paragon Cookie, as you can see Dark Cacao here in the center. Because all of mine are level 60, it obviously just chose one random one and that, you know, they just went with dark cacao for whatever reason I'm um, here in the middle. However, if you did have, you know, let's say a level 58 cookie, for instance, that level 58, because it's the lowest level out of these five obviously would be the Paragon cookie. And then that means any cookie that you place down here in these slots would then level up to whatever that Paragon level is, or AKA the cookie of the lowest level of the five at the top. Now, obviously I know this was just a short explanation. I'm going to be doing a full video on going more in depth for the Hall of Ancient Heroes very soon. So stay tuned for that. The second new feature we've got, that's also going to be dealing with the, you know, Hall of Ancient Heroes. That's going to be the Statue of Heroic Radiance. This one as well has a minimum requirement of clear world exploration state stage 97 and the third radiant shard quest to unlock the statue of heroic radiance so to give you guys an example taking a look at the hall of ancient heroes you can see on the far right hand side we now have this statue icon once you click on that that's going to be the official statue of the heroic radiance and essentially it just gives additional buffs provided for things for your cookie side and also your kingdom side now obviously just like the hall of ancient heroes i will be doing a separate video going more in depth talking about the statue of heroic radiance you know how to upgrade it how to utilize it is it good how important it is all of that sort of stuff so stay tuned for that as well the third thing we've got here and that's going to be the brand new super mayhem paladin's oath update so it says a new season of super mayhem begins just like the previous seasons you need up to three teams with five cookies on each team however though they've obviously got some changes here for this season for super mayhem in previous seasons your team one would always battle their team one to start Obviously, if you beat their team one, their second team would come out. Your team one would continue fighting their second team until your team obviously got beat. However, in this season, that is no longer the case. Your team one will always battle their team one. Your team two will always battle their team two. And it's going to be the first team to get to two wins out of the three battles is going to take victory overall. The next thing we've got, that's going to be the brand new epic crunchy chip cookie. So crunchy chip cookie is a brand new charge cookie utilizing this skill wolf squadron. It says skill description, crunchy chip cookies, regular attack, leave the claw mark on the enemy with the highest attack. Upon utilizing this skill, the cookie charges towards the enemies, slamming them and summoning his cream wolf. When Crunchy Chip Cookie is defeated, the cream wolf becomes enraged and continues fighting alone. In this state, the cream wolf becomes resistance to incapacitating effects, so essentially just resistance to stuns. I'm not exactly sure about freezes or anything, but again, definitely very similar to what we've seen with like T Knight. If Crunchy Chip Cookie is revived, he will hop back onto his cream wolf, and then Crunchy Chip Cookie and his wolves are less affected by knockbacks and even flying. And just taking a look here really quick at Crunchy Chip Cookie, that is gonna be the brand new epic charge unit and gonna be placed in the front row. Now, as I already mentioned here prior, we'll be doing another video going more in-depth covering you know crunchy chip cookie doing some additional testing my first impressions and if you guys should absolutely build him or pass the next big thing we've got that's going to be the max level four cookies has officially been increased from level 60 to now level 70 as you guys can see here man taking a look at my guild boss comp as you guys already know when i mentioned in a previous video yesterday this was my first max level team i'm literally running out of experience star jellies now but nevertheless we were able to legitimately increase our damage a mega ton by leveling these guys up to level 70 and then obviously alongside increasing the max level four cookies now we're going to get additional experience star jellies and skill powders via, via various content as you can see here cookie houses now have an increased max production time 
um, giving us basically additional amount of experience star jellies it can hold. We also get additional experience star jellies via the Fountain of Abundance, the Tower of Sweet Chaos, the World Exploration, and then also the bounties are going to be giving more skill powders. The next big change we've got, that's going to be the Topping Management System. They have finally, man, absolutely finally added the ability to filter out via substats for toppings, making our lives 10 times better, man. I'm telling you right now, this feature should have been in the game from day one. So check this out here. Taking a look at the overall toppings here for a cookie, if you click the filter button, you now have this little fly out menu here to the left. And basically how this works is we're gonna hide all types. We're gonna turn off rare and commons because we only want the epic ones. We're gonna go ahead and select the, you know, full solid almonds for, for pumpkin pie here, for example, all right? We're gonna select full solid almonds. We're going to come over here and select up to three bonus effects or substats. We're going to go ahead and click on, you know, the damage resist, because that's what we want to filter out first, right? The second thing we want to look at, and that's also going to be if anything has cooldown on it, we're going to go ahead and do that one for a second. And we also are going to do, you know, attack, all right? So you can see we've only got one topping here. Let's go ahead and back these bad boys off, but we're going to go ahead and leave it on damage resistance. Check this out. Look at this. It's going to filter out all the extra toppings to only toppings that give me damage resistance. And not only that, it's also going to filter out it based on which one gives me the most damage resistance at the top. You can see we've got a 6% here for damage resistance. And then if we come all the way down here, you can see it drops down to 3.3%. And it's going to organize it based on damage resistance because we have a number one, that's the first one that we selected. If we were to come in here, continue to leave it here on solid almonds. If we were to select the attack, it's going to then prioritize it by attack. You can see we've got a couple of them here not equipped. We can see here, the most one that I'm going to have is a 2.9% on the attack percent. Absolutely, man. This is going to be a phenomenal feature, and it's going to save a ton of players a lot of time when it comes to swapping and picking and choosing the right toppings for your overall cookie and your builds. And then continuing here with the topping section, they've also got some additional quality of life stuff. The very first one is going to be they've improved the user experience by saving your position in the topping list after you finish upgrading slash breaking down and removing toppings. Again, a very nice quality of life. The next one we've got, that's going to be in order to prevent breaking down maxed out toppings by accident, an additional warning pop-up will now appear if you try to break down a maxed out topping. Next up we've got, that's going to be five additional decorations. Again, we kind of showed these in a previous video when we talked about it. They did throw in a sneaky one here, which is the fluffy barked cake hound that has been added for now chaos cake pieces. And that's essentially what it's going to look like after you buy them and place them wherever you place them. Now, I don't sure if he actually does do any moving around or if he's just going to be stationary, but nevertheless, still a very cool decoration and i like the fact that it comes you know via cake pieces and not necessarily crystals or other resources for the mileage shop we've got you know caramel arrow and then also cherry blossom now officially added which again is very very nice for those of you out there that have not leveled up you know caramel to a full five star promotion absolutely going to be worth it those that have not invested in cherry blossom i would continue not to invest in cherry blossom the next big thing that they've added and that's going to be they've added a reward for clearing 60 ways of the cookie alliance once you clear the 60 waves you are going to be getting a exclusive golden battle master costume for t night cookie and it can only be claimed once from the first victory reward no matter what season it is alongside the new costume here for t night exclusive to this you know cookie alliance achievement you also after you clear the 60th wave of the cookie alliance you will be get a brand new title called the abdominal defender title so very cool um also on top of this we've got the tree of wishes are now going to have the ability to drop what they call radiant shards and as you can see here the radiant shards are going to be used inside of the hall of ancient heroes and you're going to specifically use them to unlock additional slots as you can see here it's going to cost us 1500 of those radiant shards in order for us to unlock another slot aka to give us the ability to place a new cookie in here to then get the level boost just a quick interjection here for those radiant shards you can also get them from various sources now you can get them from obviously the fountain of abundance the daily you know rewards from the tree of wishes you can get them from balloon expeditions you get them from episodes five and above the kingdom arena metal shop the seaside market the event rewards packages etc you name it you can find radiant shards now through all of that content on top of getting them from also completing the quest line for the overall you know brand new update with that sugar no speaking of the tree of wishes here they're also doubling the rewards that you get from the daily you know chest so essentially beforehand on that level one chest that you would get after completing 10 tree of wishes you would only get one aurora piece 10 crystals and then also three of the level three experience star jellies well, they pretty much just doubled the rewards. You can see here afterwards, they're going to be giving us two Aurora pieces now for the level one chest, 
20 crystals, and then also 9 of the level 3 experience star jellies on top of 20 radiant shards. So this 100% makes Tree of Wishes daily chest that much more valuable, guys, and that you should absolutely be completing them as much as possible. And then here in the miscellaneous section, nothing too game-breaking. They've added and made some modifications. So the very first one is going to be they've added some slots for pristine skill powders and radiant shards in the overall kingdom's metal shop, which again is very nice. Obviously, they dive into a little bit additional stuff. Like this one says, in order to prevent accidents, they you know are making adjustments to the make button now in the production building. Again, nothing too game-breaking. This one down here as well is going to be talking about the production queue inside of buildings with the percentages and they've also talked about how an arrow you know a guide arrow now for you know the cookie odyssey missions taking you to the world exploration will now put an arrow on what specific stage it needs to be in case if you forget by clicking the button and then last but not least here again just something very simple about decorations um that if you purchase it you no longer have to place in order for you to get the claim to complete the set and then the last thing i want to mention here with these bug fixes guys and that's going to be just talking about a couple of the cookie changes fixed an issue where custard cookies the third skill target of healing and HP shield would be different. Um, second win we got, and it's gonna be clotted cream cookies knockback effect would not take effect if the target cookie was already knocked back by a different cookie. They fixed another one here on Wildberry Cookie where it would not utilize his skill if he had become incapacitated at a certain moment of the battle. And then last but not least, we've got, that's going to be Werewolf Cookie's max HP would not increase properly upon utilizing his skill in the Cookie Alliance. So now, obviously, there are small modifications, but I definitely think that they have some, they carry some weight. Absolutely jump in here and utilize these cookies, test them out if you were experiencing any of those issues, because they should be fixed, making them potentially even that much better F cookies. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our video for today, man, for what you guys need to know in the brand new update. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on on the channel let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are on the overall update not only that guys i will be going live tonight here on the channel at 8 p.m cst we'll be starting off the live stream popping off some viewer summons we might do one or two sessions depending on how many people we have interested but nevertheless make sure you got the notification bell turned on so you know exactly when i do go live and when i drop these additional videos as always guys i will see you on the next one